If you're looking for the most comprehensive and complete training resource for the DJI Matrice 30 and 30T, look no more because Steel City Drones will offer the most complete online course that you can find anywhere in the world or your money back. We have a money back guarantee that states if you can find a more complete and comprehensive online course than ours, we will give you our money back, no questions asked. This is a very comprehensive aircraft. This is not a consumer or hobbyist drone. This is something that requires a comprehensive course. We start out going through a drone's one-on-one -on -one course and go over all of the components of this drone and all of the individual components and items that make up this drone and how they work. What are the limitations of the drone? What is the kryptonite of this drone? And how to be able to go ahead and avoid flyaways. We talk about all the limitations. After we go over and get you familiar with your aircraft, we're gonna teach you how to set up and activate your shield plan and making sure you activate it on time and go over actually what the plan covers and how to purchase extra coverage that's gonna go beyond what that initial plan is. We talk about the setup of the aircraft, everything from the firmware on all the different components. We go over and talk about the battery charging station, how to update the batteries, the remote controller, and the aircraft. We go on site and prepare to fly for the first time, which covers a compass calibration. We go over all of the important submenu settings that have to be set before we go fly. Then we get up in the air. We teach you how to use the camera. We teach you how to switch between different cameras. We go over everything on the DJI Pilot 2 app, which is a very comprehensive flight app that we have to be able to use and know it like the back of our hand. We show you how to drop a pen. We go over Smart Track. We go ahead and show you how to create waypoints and autonomous flying, how to create 2D and 3D maps, and even include oblique mapping. For public safety, we teach you how to be able to go ahead and set up search grids for search and rescue. We go over RTK. What is RTK? When do we need to use RTK? How to use a DRTK2 base station and NTRIP protocols. We go over all of the aftermarket payloads, including the CZI LP12 and the GL60 Mini. With all that said, here is some snapshots of our online course to be able to give you a really good feel for what this course is like. Most of what we teach in our Drones 101 day is going to be exactly what you're going to see in this video. Then you'll have a really good understanding of the aircraft as you go ahead and unbox and set everything up because everything is going to lead one step into another. And that way I thought I could be very thorough in here within regards to what the aircraft has. So, so let's get started with this. When we go through that setup process, we're gonna hear the words activate a lot. So we have our shield plan we have to activate. We also have to activate the remote controller. We have to activate the aircraft itself and then the battery charging station. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up the remote controller, then update the firmware for it. The second is gonna go ahead where we're gonna set up the BS30 battery charging station. We're gonna activate it. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the firmware updates for that. And at the same time, if it needs firmware updates, we're gonna go ahead and update the TB30 batteries as well. So now that we got our protection plan activated and it's ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the setup portion of the aircraft. We're gonna take our aircraft and put it aside for a second and we're gonna concentrate on the remote controller. What we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get this powered up. And now you can see that the software automatically recognized the remote controller, and now it came up with this icon. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. 
Now it's loading. So you have to have an internet connection hooked up so that the software can check the DJI firmware software servers to be able to see if there is an update. All right, so we're outside. It's a nice sunny day. It's a little windy, but let's go ahead. Let's get this aircraft set up and let's get up in the air. So we're gonna take the aircraft out of the case, just like this, and again, you'll see that the camera is pointing up in its travel position. We're gonna take it from storage mode, travel mode, into normal mode. So we're gonna, gonna tilt this down, just like that. Now, the booms and the props will just swing out. You can see like that, automatically, go into their locking positions. And this is very important here, this is our mode switch. So we're making sure that when we start a flight and take off, and probably about 99% of the time, we're going to be in what's called the end mode. They call this normal mode. This is normal position hold. All you have to do now is follow the illustration. Put it against me, and then rotate myself around until it's prompting us to change the orientation and spin it, just like I'm doing, until it prompts me to stop and it's done. Now we're ready to take off. Now I'm gonna get the aircraft up about six to eight feet. And I'm gonna go ahead and do what I call my 15, 15, 15 roll of a pre-check. For 15 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and do a few different things. I'm gonna monitor the aircraft, making sure that it's not moving around, it's hovering and it's staying with position hold, which is good. Once I'm good with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go and check a few things in the flight app. When we get about eight feet high, this goes straight down where you think that you have it exactly right over the center of your target and just go full stick down with it. And you notice that what it did was it got to about right here and then kind of stopped for a second, even when we were full stick down. That's a safety guard built into the app that's gonna prevent us from slamming the aircraft down too hard. So to go to camera view, we're gonna switch and tap on the little icon of the camera view, that little window in the bottom right. We're gonna tap on it and that brings that up right there. So you'll see how all that flight data on the bottom center is versus an FPV mode. We can add a flight route by hitting the plus button and now we can do this on the fly in manual mode. But we can also do that when we go out of here, we can just go all the way out of the flight app, go to the splash screen and you'll see where it says flight route that's where we can create a flight route. That will be an entire separate video. Now to adjust the zoom, and we wanna go ahead and go inward with the zoom, we're gonna hit the R1 button, or we're just gonna hit the plus icon. Now you'll see where it says it switched it to 10 times zoom. Hit it again, 20 times zoom. 40 times zoom. 80 times zoom. If I go back to the wide camera by hitting the L2 button or where it says wide, now you can get a true appreciation for how powerful that zoom camera is. So I, when I tap on one of those circles, now it's locked in on that target. Let's say I have a point of interest right here in this parking lot. Once I have found that point of interest, with the L3 button on the RC Plus remote, there's a little blue pin icon. We're gonna tap on that. Now that puts that pin right there. So if I go in, you can see right there on that point, it puts the latitude, longitude right there. We have the ability to be able to assign a color palette to a specific color range only. Everything from minus 20 to minus 150 Celsius is showing. 
Now, when I go ahead and go down to 48 degrees Fahrenheit, it's adding more color, it's adding more of that palette in that range. That right there is everything from 48 degrees to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. That is showing me what's in that range. And again, the darker the color, the darker the temperature. Now, having a second remote controller is very valuable. You can have a dedicated camera operator, and then you could also kind of leapfrog if you need to. You could also lock out another person as well so that they cannot get control. So a lot of cool features in here. So let's talk about how we're gonna be able to set this up. Now we're gonna press and hold on the power button for about five seconds until we hear the beeps, recognize it. There we go. This is remote A. And as you can see, this color here is a bluish aqua color. That means it has control of the camera and if I go ahead and use my sticks, you can see that it's controlling the camera. But it does not have control of the drone. So if the operator who has the remote controller number A wants to take control of the aircraft back, we can go ahead and tap on this button until it turns green. Companion controller obtained aircraft flight control. Now, I'm gonna walk over to the second controller which is the B controller. And now if I, that controller wants to take control of the aircraft, I'm gonna tap on it again. Obtained aircraft flight control. In this video, we're gonna talk about setting up and installing the CZI LP12 loudspeaker spotlight combination for the Matrice 30. Now we're gonna turn on the M30, and now we're gonna go open the Assistant 2. So we're gonna double click on the DJI icon in the upper part of the screen under device list, it says LP12. We wanna go ahead and click on that. And now you can see where it says version 03010219. I'm gonna browse for the file that I downloaded, select it, and then hit upgrade. So we have to shut it down and reboot it. If we don't do that, and you go ahead and just go with the RC Plus remote, it's gonna look like it didn't update. So for it to actually take that update, you have to go ahead, restart your M30. As you might see right now, we're gonna talk about everything about aircraft batteries. There's a lot that goes into maintaining the health of these batteries. And as you can see, they are very expensive. So for example, the Matrice 30 TB30 batteries are $329 a piece. So that's almost $700 a pair. It is very easy to damage any one of these batteries in flight that not only can cost you a lot of money, but then it can become a safety hazard when you're in the air where the aircraft has the potential of just falling out of the sky if we compromise the batteries. So that's everything about this course. If you're interested in purchasing or want more information than what this video shows, please go to our website and or you can give us a call. We'll be glad to talk to you directly. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.